test, test, test. Okay, guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact version 5.0. <laughs> I just uh, started the game, I haven't done anything since I loaded the game. So we have 600 payroll. Oh, 1 million. Okay. And three weapons. Whoa, 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 that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, claim off. Okay. Usually I start with the Arc Conquest, but I want to do this first. Uh, Ascension rank first, and then maybe we'll start the Arc Conquest right after that. So first, I want to see if there's anything. What could the children be up to? Hmm. Let, Let, me see here. Let them do as they please. Hmm. Yeah, Natlin. Okay. Okay. Check the defense. <laughs> Free five star away, and okay, it's limited to this uh, version. Uh. Okay, the free five star I'll pick later. Might take Jin, constellation maybe. Traces of artistry. Wow, I can join the team. Kachina, okay. Has run Walani as well. The Archon quest, okay. The story quest. The new area, and what's this? The boss, okay. Alright. First off, uh, Ascension quest. Ascension I will put It's time to pull the trigger Okay I'm not sure how, how am I gonna even do this video properly eh? Oh, what? We start right here Oh, that skips a lot. You don't even have to. Okay. That's a quick uh name. Why is Okay anyway? You know what? <laughs> Screw this laser stuff. Level one hundred. Holy shit! Okay. Light the bear. All right. Let's go. <coughs> I want to see how this level one hundred enemies. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Busted. Gangs up. Plus you get 5 more Stabilize. 
there like two minutes. So there must be quite a bit of this Session. I was expecting it to be longer. Once there was a glorious king. Okay. I believe this is the first two. Yes. Uh. Automatically use this turn for subsequent. Yeah. I might buy battle pass again. I don't know if I would. It's been how many times I stopped buying battle pass. Might buy again for the let me see. Yeah, for this <laughs> only one. No battle pass only one. Okay. <coughs> Okay, that's for the uh, ascension, right? Uh, I'm gonna cut this. Ah, I'm gonna cut this so that later the video will be shorter. I'll put this in my Archon Quest video. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. Okay, guys, it's time. Uh, I'm going to play Genshin version 5.0's Archon Quest. This will be Archon Quest Act 1. I my guess it'll be three hours long, maybe. We'll see. <coughs> but yeah, I already set my world level to nine. I have a Kachina. But I haven't started the story. She's <laughs> now C But I haven't built her yet. <laughs> so yeah, let's play the Archon Quest. Natlan, a new adventure. Say goodbye to your Fontanian friends. Oh man. We're going to Natlan finally. Alright, enable. The thing is I haven't explored yet. Eh? But let's just go. So we're going back to the desert. To go through to Natlan. All right, here we go. Should I bring traveler for immigration? <laughs> uh, traveler. There's still a long road ahead. All right. Oh, we're going all the way down. <laughs> Just checking <coughs> before we go to the next region. Uh, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Fontaine. Right there. Alright, here we go. doesn't give us much to go off of. We met some NPC who came back from that land, right? Exactly! Even when Inazuma was completely closed off, we still managed to run into people from there and other nations. Huh. Could it be that there are no humans in that land? No, there is. <laughs> yes, yes. That look of surprise.
noise and excitement is hard. perfect. Hold it right there. Now look at the camera and big smiles on three. Ready? Okay, just make sure you get Paimon's good side. All right. Wait, hang on a yeah, minute. Yeah, why? Let's <laughs> the photo shoot, Charlotte. That was so sudden. Now, up I heard you two were about to leave for the set. next part of your journey. After everything you did for Fontaine, the Steambird simply had to follow up on a scoop like that. Of course. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be short on material once you're gone. Oh, so you knew we were leaving. We don't need a big send-off. That's not really our thing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not your style, but we got to thinking. And, well, a little change never hurt anyone, right? Uh, we? Oh, who else is here? <sighs> All ah, those now, yeah. obstacles we overcame side by side. Damn, it's been a while. Feels like it was just yesterday. Yeah. Don't be a stranger like now, partner. If you encounter any ah, troubles Chlorine along your well. journey, you need only let us know. No matter the distance between us. Partings are inevitable, of course, as well. But distance oh, makes the heart see. grow fonder, right? One thing will never <laughs> change, though. Even for we'll Rina's always yeah. have the memories we made together during this time. This new villa? Yeah, I don't think so. Whoa, you're all here! Let me know the next time a festival rolls around. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll meet again. Already thinking about taking time off? Any excuse for a party, huh? <laughs> but yes, you can count on us. <laughs> we wouldn't let you miss out on all the fun. Well, in light of your impending departure, shall we take a photo together? Hey! Ooh, great idea! We even have a professional photographer with us. Charlotte, would you do us the honor? Leave it to me. But just give me a moment to set the camera up. Oh, by the way, you're overthinking the whole Natlan issue, Paimon. That land has human inhabitants and its own unique culture, just like Fontaine. It's just that, because of their local customs, the native people choose not to leave. Oh, they choose not to leave. Huh. They are not unwelcoming to outsiders, though. People travel there for business and leisure alike, so and usually return with nothing but good things to say. Many members of the Spina have visited in the past, too. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get swept up in any major drama this time. <laughs> don't jinx us. Well, given your experience and skill in that regard, I have no doubt you'll be able to overcome anything that comes your way. Still, I hope you can avoid danger this time around. An uneventful trip might be a nice change of pace. All right, I'm ready. Shall we? Ah. <laughs> well then, traveler. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. All right. <coughs> Bye guys. I heard there's a place in Natland that produces precious stones. Next time there's a lull in my work. Gotta go pay it a visit. I will probably see you guys. There too, maybe. Safe travels, traveler. You're welcome back anytime. Hey, I'm talking to Cloud. If you let us know in advance, we can arrange even more people to greet you when you return. That would be quite the oh, lively both of affair. Them. Okay. You talk to both of them at the same time. Alright. Charlie? One picture to publish, and one to keep for myself. Uh, Perfect. Alright. It's time to go. Holy shit. Okay, we have to... Kind of walk all the way... Without any waypoint, we have, to, we have to walk all the way back to the middle of the desert. And go all the way here. That's a long... <laughs> okay, well we're not gonna walk all the way there, we're just gonna teleport there. Good thing there's a waypoint. Alright. <coughs> Let's go. 
Toad. Wow! So this is Natland! So many strange mountains, and so many animals Paimon has never oh. seen before! Uh... Huh. Doesn't look like there are any cities around here, though. Where should we Just start? start this way. Good idea! Finding people means we can learn information about the local Archon. And once we've met the Archon, we should have a better idea of what to expect during our journey. I cause it a deep disconnection with the respect to Well, Paimon hopes this one is easy to get along <laughs> with. As long as we don't get on their bad side, we should be fine. Come on, let's keep following the road. Alright. Ah, we're going in blind. No map exploration this time. <coughs> this is gonna be interesting. Okay. I will put in uh what's the name? Kachina uh once once we do meet her. Uh, maybe I can level up first. Oh I didn't do the test run. <laughs> right. Never mind. Do we need this? Wait, is it green fruit that she needs? Then we can just level up. Uh, no, what's this? Quen Pump Berry. Alright, sure. <laughs> what is this? Huh? Is this the similar like Leeware? Oh no, this is just like Leeware's World Quest, huh? Oh shit, they have HP! I see their HP! Hold up! They have HP! And they are in low HP at the moment. Listen to music, man. Okay, I'm stuck in a probably a world quest here. Okay, there we go. Is the Neon right? <laughs> Is this our companion? Is this our Saurian companion? Is it gonna be. Wait. Big guy. Oh. Uh. Stretch out your hand, chosen of dragons, reach out to me. Join strength and then witness all and thus liberate all. We heard that, huh? Reach out. T. Are we becoming the Saurian? Oh! <laughs> we are him. Okay. Uh, so what do we do here? Shatter the rock. Um, let's click. Okay. Is that another one of them? So I guess this is like a thing you have to do when you are here. Okay. So this is how we get our companion sorry, is it? Call it 
you guys have these sirens around here, yeah? Travel with us. Ash Brown? Okay. Really? We're gonna call it Ash Brown? I suspect that we're only going to. Doesn't like that name. Okay. <laughs> No way we can name No way we can name it anything we want. No way Serious Oh what? Oh okay I I didn't think about this. This is literally Pokemon way. Um It's a Saurian. I don't know what it's called. Are you serious? You can name it. <laughs> um, let me think. I guess he's Geo, so... I don't know, I wanna call it something Geo related. I thought we got, can pick a name or something, we actually can name it? Sorry, <laughs> but it's a, it's a little one though. Uh, I, I don't know. Geo something. Geo. What it reminds me of? Uh, something that digs in the ground. Like, like Diglett movie. <laughs> Geo Diglett. <laughs> Geo. Geo Diglett. Geo Digmon. <laughs> and. Or just Dig. That it's not like Digimon. Geo Digimon. How about that? <laughs> All right. I'll 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 name it and the the element, and then what what can it do with the mon at the back? <laughs> how about that? Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Everyone can just put whatever name. Not just Wanderer, but even the creatures. I'm pretty sure a lot of the other creatures also can name it. Uh, yeah, we became a Saurian. Just on. Uh, okay. Uh, probably we'll figure it out later. Follow your sorry companion while this is cool. That's not cool. Right? No. Leave. Oh, we 
we are actually in a, some kind of domain, isn't it? Okay. I see. It's probably those pillar thingy just now that I went near to. Is this a monster? Okay. <laughs> It's just an animal. Cheat? Oh shit! So what can we do with this? Oh that's the Pyrocinus, okay. Fine to be using <laughs> to be using our sorry companion here. Wait, what if I press E? Oh shit! <laughs> if I press E again, okay. You can't dash though. Hey, this is cool. Eh? Oh, what? So that thing stays here? Oh, this is cool. Okay. Is that Kachina? I see Kachina right there. With someone. Ah, this is the music. I'm sorry, Kachina. I know it's not right for it's us to go back cool. on our word like this. But Kempoa and I have to do well Yo, during this the NPCs are... No way! You can't seem to find other people to join our team, and we don't have time to sit around and wait. But... But if you two leave, I'll be the only one left. We really are sorry, but you still have plenty of chances. You're young, and you bear an ancient name on top of that. Ancient name? Ancient We're just ordinary tribal warriors with years of battle under our belt and no glory to show for it. Not to mention the physical toll of all that fighting. We're no longer in our prime. Ugh. We barely had a chance last time, remember? Oh. We can't expect a better result with even fewer people. Pilgrimage registration closes tonight. This is our last chance to switch teams. Well, all right. I guess it is what it is. I just wish I was stronger. I'm nothing compared to the other ancient name bearers. But never mind. I guess this is just par for the course as Uthabiti, huh? I'm sure I'll figure something out. Well, if we do well this time, there's still a spot for you at the victory feast. Yeah. Even though we're not participating in the competition together, we're still friends, aren't we? Of course. So they're switching teams. Anyway, you oh, guys yeah. should get oh, going before yeah. it's too late. Go form a really strong team, okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, Kachina. Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Looks like that little girl over there was just abandoned. Wonder what happened. We just started. Oh, she looks so sad too. Huh? Oh. Oh. Our gosh, first oh. local. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Wait. I haven't seen you around the tribe before. Are you travelers? Yep. We just got to Nadland. Oh, welcome, welcome. I'm Kachina. Utha Biti Kachina. Oh, that's something we call an ancient name. So their last it's a name, we their have first name is their ancient name. Although it's kind of complicated to explain. You can think of it like a title for yeah, now. Yeah, like a title, okay. If you're here for the pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame, you'll find out what they mean soon enough. So, this pilgrimage, is that what you were discussing earlier? Oh, yeah. It's a competition we hold every so often, where All everyone right. competes to try and get the highest ranking. Yo, the music. What? The competition receives tons of attention, so if you place highly, you're guaranteed instant acclaim, and you earn the right to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Faith 
Basically, the winners become heroes. And that's pretty much everyone's goal around here. Sounds like a massive fighting tournament yeah, or something. Do you have to be in a team to participate? Well, due to the sheer number of participants, the pilgrimage is actually divided into two phases. Phase one is a team competition. Usually an ancient name bearer serves as the team captain and leads their team in various battles around that one with the goal of capturing sacred flame. Oh, and an ancient name bearer is just someone with one of those titles I mentioned earlier. Someone like me! Once the team competition is over, the participants from the winning teams qualify to take part in individual one-on-one -on -one matches. So, so some kind of na the national game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the skill seems pretty huge. Like a national Wait game. Wait a minute. Olympics or if ancient name bearers lead the teams, that means you must be a team captain. Sure am. Although I don't exactly have any team members anymore. So not uh, everyone has this ancient name. Then. The key to winning is <coughs> in the strength of the team captain. That's what everyone says. But uh. The difference in strength between bears can practically be night and day. So, their decision does make sense. I'd feel the same way if I were in their shoes. All ancient name bears have to take part. It's our duty. So, if no one wants to be on my team, then Aww. I'll just go it alone. At worst, I'm looking at a few extra scrapes and scratches. I'm not great at fighting, but I always manage to get back on my feet in no time. Traveler, based on the direction of this conversation, Paimon thinks it might be time for us to do our thing. Yep, yep! Time for the next phase of our journey to start for real! Um, what are you guys talking about? Can we join your team? Ah. Huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, didn't mean to freak out on you. I just... Uh, how should I put this? I really appreciate the offer. That's so unbelievably generous of you. But ah, oh, that's not fair. <laughs> that one are allowed to take part in the pilgrimage. Oh, Paimon thought we could just join your team and fight our way to the top and then become heroes. So we can't participate then. It's all right, really. I, I mean, no oh. one's ever offered to join my team before. Really? We're all usually on good wow. terms, but whenever pilgrimage registration rolls around, it feels like everyone starts avoiding me. Is she because she's a four-star <laughs> weak character? Is that why? They don't make eye contact or bring up the pilgrimage. <clears throat> it's like they're afraid I'll ask them to join my team. I probably don't even need to explain uh, the reason. Then I'm it too is. Weak. <laughs> it is. It's pretty obvious there's nothing to gain from being on my team. That really doesn't matter to you? Oh, don't you worry. A traveler's strong enough for the three of us. Gods, dragons, giant narwhals. He can give them all a run for their mora. <laughs> oh, I get it. You are able to overlook my lack of strength because you're confident in your own skills. Mm. That's right. We always try to help people out during our travels. That's what makes a true adventurer! A true adventurer? You guys are really special. You know you're strong, but you don't take yourself too seriously. That's exactly the kind of person I want to become! I guess everyone's here competitive. So if you're not strong, you are... <laughs> I, I see you're what's going planning on. on staying in that line for a little while, right? Mind if I try to learn from you while you're here? Learn from us? Yeah, you know. Like a disciple or a sidekick. You don't even have to teach me anything. Already. I'll just observe. <laughs> I promise I won't be in the way. Besides, I can take you to see the sights and introduce you to that one in the meantime. What do you think, Traveler? Seems like she really looks up to you. Oh, right. Can't those people from earlier say the registration period was about to end? You don't need to focus on finding new teammates? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't be able to manage it this close to the deadline anyway. Don't give up yet. I lose all the time. I'm used to it. Oh, Everyone around me is used to it. So it's fine. No one expects anything out of me. But if I manage to learn a thing or two from you, I might just Tonya's, pull off a win uh... next time. <laughs> Thank you! 
would have thought I'd get the chance to meet such impressive adventurers. <laughs> Today must be my lucky day. Well, come with me, you two. I'll show you where I grow up and introduce you to our tribe, the Children of Echoes. Okay, and that's Al Pacino. C3 <laughs> already. <clears throat> Alright then. Well, this makes me want to build her now. Kachina is your companion. When she is the elemental skill, she has the night soul's blessing and summon turbo twirly. If the hole is used, she uses it while turbo twirly, she will ride turbo twirly. Okay. You can switch while climbing, sprinting, or mid air? That's like the other game. <clears throat> can only be used in areas where Netland where Flokiston mechanics are quite okay. Oh yeah, I'm still this. Um Can I just Oh the hole. Okay, there it is. Wait, I, we are following her, okay wait. I kinda wanna start building her a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what she uses. Uh, oh yeah, we have this new weapon here. Why not? Uh, I guess we'll use... <clears throat> Is she skill on defense? If it's defense, we probably need... Husk. Uh, don't know what she want. She needs to. Know. I guess we just take. Temporary la. We equip whatever. We have a. G defense or geo. Oh. Do I even have a geo? <clears throat> I, I assume it's defense and then this and this yeah. C3 huh? we level this up as well Can ascend already, nice. Just checking that I don't have any special weapon. I don't want to accidentally get rid of a wrong weapon. Okay. Alright, level 40. <coughs> Alright, she not lead the way. Oh, Nini. <laughs> That thing over there looks super intimidating. Are you sure it's not gonna fall off? That's a pile of Don't worry. Yeah. My tribe works closely with stone. That's one of our symbols, actually. Oh, okay. It's not going anywhere, I promise you. Oh, that's cute. Is that. Yo! They do the talking while this is interesting. Alright. Interesting. <laughs> oh, look at those. <laughs> hey, it's Ayo! Come on! Ayo! <laughs> is that. Uh, uh, companion. Allow me to introduce you. This 
Ah. Uh, Literally poking on everyone's everyone's uh, companion. <laughs> He's saying hello. I think he likes you. Saurian? So in that land, you consider Saurians to be part of your family? Of course. That one is not only a nation of heroes, but also a nation of Saurians. They occupy an important Aww. place in every tribe. Outlanders always seem to think of Ayo as my pet, but that's not the case at all. Ayo and I go on adventures together, family, not, but he also has pets. a Saurian family and a place to stay of his own. Sometimes he even brings his entire family over hey, to yo. eat at our house. <laughs> the children of Echoes have the closest ties to the Tepetli source, which are naturally oh, very friendly to humans. That's how our relationship became what it is today. All Saurians have their own personalities, but I think calling them our companions pretty much sums it up. <laughs> See? Ayo agrees with me. <sighs> oh, that's ours. Wait. So we do. We are supposed to meet uh, our, our companion first before we go. Oh! <laughs> You're here too! No way! You have a soaring companion too! Oh, what a sweet little thing! Aww. I think your friend here will get along with Ayo just fine! Alright, you two go have fun! I've got some important business to handle, and then I'll oh, be right cute. back! <laughs> no mischief, okay? And you better not go leading your new friend astray, or I'm telling your parents. Yo, that's cool. Okay, so it is part of the story. Okay. This is the most cherished and most sacred item ah, in our tribe. The stone thing. It symbolizes the Wyab that protects us and grants us blessings. It symbolizes the Wyab. Wyab? Is that a god of some sort? Sort of? We believe the Wyab dwell beneath the earth, while the Pyro Archon hails from above. We hold regular gatherings here, actually. Our chief recounts and interprets dreams relating to our Wyab symbol? to decipher its will. The Wyab know the past and can foresee the future. Isn't that extraordinary? Huh. Kachina, what are you doing here? Chief! Oh, let me introduce what? you. This is Bakal, the chief of our tribe. Why does he remind me of that other guy? I forgot his name. The one that gives marvelous uh, merchandise. Chief, these two just arrived in Natlin. They're super accomplished adventurers, and they're letting me stick by them so I can learn a thing or two. <laughs> uh, hello. Kachina is a child of our tribe. Her safety is my responsibility, so I'll just come out and say it. I don't know how you met her, but I'm gonna need you to prove your identity. Prove? Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no need for that, Chief. They're good people. I can feel it. A feeling isn't going to satisfy your parents, Kachina. I understand the rule. How about... How do you prove it? Uh, we show you our adventure yeah, yeah, handbook. Yeah, yeah, it's where all our previous <laughs> travels are recorded. Hmm. The people that. who belong to the Adventurers Guild are kind of a mixed bag. I prefer something more reliable. Hmm. Huh. What? You're the Traveler. And your Paimon is familiar! Oh, we're famous already. Paimon is a guide! Jeez, these rumors are getting out of control! Well, okay, maybe this one's not that bad. It does make <laughs> you seem super powerful and mysterious, Traveler. Wait, is there something special about those names? You haven't heard? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Learn well from him, Kachina. It's unlikely you've ever had a teacher of greater merit. Yo, what a pose. <laughs> really? To earn that kind of praise from the chief? You guys must be even stronger than I thought. Apologies for not trusting your word. Oh, don't worry Fine. about it. You yeah. were just doing your duty. Well, Kachina's still young, so you can never be too careful. As for you, Kachina, isn't registration about to close? Why haven't you had it out yet? 
Don't worry, Chief. I told my teammates to go ahead. I'll catch up with them in a bit. Aren't they already left the team? I may not be much of a fighter, but I am quick on my feet. <laughs> Kachina's trying not to worry him, huh? Mm -hmm. I see. Well, I... I hope I wasn't interrupting anything just now. If I did, just tell me where you left off, and I might be able to help with the explanations. Let me think. I told them about the Lyab, so now's the perfect time to dive into ancient names. Good thing you're here, Chief. I don't think I could explain it very well. Oh, right! That word kept popping up in our conversation earlier. So what does it mean exactly? Well, Natlan is a nation of heroes, whose valiant deeds are preserved and passed down over time in the form of stories. You can think of an ancient name almost like a label for these stories. By mentioning an ancient name, we remind ourselves of the epic sagas of heroes past. For example, the most famous bearer of my ancient name fought in 27 Night Warden Wars. By the time he fought in his last one, he was already over 60 years old, even though he wasn't quite where he used to be. Physically speaking, he still managed to achieve top rankings during the pilgrimage. Impressive, right? Ancient names allow us to preserve the stories of the past, but they're also much more than that. Think of an ancient name almost like an heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Do you have your stone on you, Kachina? Of course. Here, take a look. Oh, okay. Wow, that black stone looks so mysterious. It's like there's something shiny inside. The Wyab decide who is deserving of inheriting an ancient name. Once a successor is selected, the name becomes theirs to bear, and their deeds are then preserved within it. And now Kachina is holding the ancient name. Is it only Kachina for this specific one? Or? As time passes, ancient names come to represent the heroic deeds of more and more bearers. Each and their value becomes even more profound. Per tribe, right? There has to be more than one, I think. In turn, the accomplishments preserved within it serve as an inspiration for the next generation of successors. Just like me. <laughs> I'm still not sure why our way up chose oh, maybe, me of all it, people. Maybe it is her only. But if I didn't know the stories of all the past heroes, how they never stopped fighting, but it's not just one. I either. probably would have given up a long time ago. Mental fortitude. Then you're saying the stone doesn't have any actual power? Like it's not gonna make Paimon super strong or smart? None at all. And that is precisely how it exercises its unique value. Think of it this way. If you become a hero because the heavens granted you strength, are your triumphs earned or given? Oh, Paimon gets it. If people start to ask those kinds of questions, the stories suddenly become a lot less inspirational. Someone had this to say about ancient names. Our forebearers carved miracles into obsidian rock, yet future bearers looked upon them and saw strength. The miracles of the past oh, become the motivations thing. of the present. <laughs> the limitations of the past become the breakthroughs of today. That's more or less the gist of it. So there's no rush, Kachina. Many people struggle to understand the Wyab's judgment after receiving an ancient name. As long as you never stop trying to improve your abilities and surpass yourself, your time will come. Thank you, Chief. I'll get it together, just you watch. Well, it's getting late. I've got to get stadium. to the Stadium of the Yo. Sacred Flame. Oh, great. I'm not sure where you're headed, but mind taking a detour with me? Is that where the pilgrimage is taking place? Yep. And outside of competition season, it's the place where our intertribal gatherings are held. Of course. She's the most important figure in the entire event. Sounds like a plan, then. Let's go. Well... If the Traveler and Paimon are with you, then I don't need to worry about your safety. Be on your way now. All right, we're off. See you later, Chief. I got so carried away just now, <laughs> I didn't consider what would happen if our destinations were different. We don't really have... Uh, our destination is just to find the Pyro Archon for now, so this is a good lead. Luckily, that's not the case. Or... Well, I guess we just have to meet up after the tournament. You sure it's okay you didn't tell the chief about your team? 
Yeah, you didn't mention that those two left. <sighs> Chief Pakal's a really nice guy. If he knew the truth, he might even ask to join me. But he's not as young as he used to be. And he's got some old injuries that still bother him. Aww. He's not cut out for any more attempts. He'll find out what really happened when he sees me compete. I'm sure I'll get an earful for lying, but this is for the best. Hold on, this music. Yeah, your teammates left you high and dry and you made sure they didn't feel guilty about it. It's not their fault, really. The pilgrimage is extremely important to the people of Natlan. We all grow up listening to stories about the heroes of the past and dream of becoming warriors with the strength to defend our nation, not out of a selfish desire for glory, but to lend our strength to a greater cause. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. Once you witness the spectacle for yourself, maybe it'll all start to make more sense. It'll okay. also be a great opportunity to experience our culture and history. All right, time to leave our settlement. Let's head that way. Our last stop, the Statue of the Seven, oh, is yes. also in that we direction. Need to open the map. Let's go! We haven't opened the map. We have to go to the statue first. Lead us to the statue. <laughs> Where is that thing? Oh, it's right here. The statue is so pretty. Is that what the Pyro Archon is like? You betcha. Beautiful, effortlessly confident, and absolutely awesome. Is that really Mabuka or is it, or is the previous Archon? Oh, since we're here, you might as well go get your shiny new elemental powers, <laughs> Traveler! Well, this is gonna be interesting. It's not gonna happen. We kinda know, but yeah, let's see. Huh? You can get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? Oh, just you watch, Kachina! Oh, this is gonna be weird. <laughs> This is the first time, uh, well, besides the monster one, the others, there wasn't even dialogue for the statue. Light the statue of the seven. Let's see the map. Okay. Children of Echoes. One square here, okay. <coughs> well, uh, huh? <laughs> That's not right. Is the statue asleep or something? Hmm, don't sense anything. Huh, shouldn't you be able to shoot fireballs or summon flame pillars by now? I don't sense any elemental energy. Strange, must be something unique to Natland. Sorry, Kachina, we got your hopes up for nothing. No, no, it's all right. If anything, I'm even more curious now. Were you really able to gain elemental powers just by touching the Statue of the Seven? That's something only Vision Bearers can use. Well, um, even Vision Bearers can't do that. <laughs> it's always been that way to know with your how or why. C could you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Take it away, Traveler! So we're still using our hydro powers, or we can use any power. Oh, whoa! We can use electro and hydro. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, animal and geo. Wow! Different elemental powers wielded by a single person. I've never even heard of something like that! Finally showing this to someone. Let me give it a try! <laughs> it's not gonna work. Nope. Still just Geo. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I was right! You really are something special! Just wait until you hear about our previous adventures! Whoa! What's that? Oh... 
that's the boss one of the boss <laughs> damn dinosaurs man Cuckoo sword. Cuckoo they fly sword. high and fast, and they're always full of energy. Reminds me of our time in Mustad. There's something huge in the sky. Right? It's been ages since that day we first saw Devalin. We've come so far. Oh, before I forget, we've got a pretty long trek ahead of us. So here, take this. They look like shiny little gems, don't they? Don't be fooled, though. <laughs> It's actually candy! My mom made them! I always bring a few when I know I'm gonna be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch! Woo! Paimon loves candy! Thanks! My pleasure, my pleasure! I've got all sorts of bits and bobs on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Okay. Land of Sorium. <laughs> I did not change my avatar. Every time there's a new character, I have to pick. <laughs> okay. Alright, where are we going? 600 meters, oh boy. We're gonna open the waypoints one by one then. Uh huh. I need to get this stuff too. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, can I? <laughs> Forget fighting. <laughs> can I? Wait, uh, E. But we have we have more energy actually if we follow that thing okay. Ah interesting. Okay. Now if I escape it becomes this. Oh, okay, interesting. Now let's just go there. How does this one work? Yuka, sorry. Uh, okay. Can I use this to E? Alright. Oh, it's literally grapple. Can I can I use this creature to go all the way there? points down here. Yo, it's literally grappling. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> Exploration is so cool. Yes, what is it? This is a world quest. Yeah, I will cross probably. Manku, Southern Relics Association. You 
should deliver to the children of Echoes. Anyway, um, let's continue to this waypoint. Oh, we can still use him. Okay. Oh, this is good. Exploration is gonna be awesome at this. Can we take that thing? I don't want to fight them yet. How much of this can be? Wait, will you get suspicious? Yo. Ah! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I am not gonna risk a fight. I want to go to the story. There it is, look. Flame grenades. Oh, you mean those things? So if I wait, let me just try. Let's get out of here. We're almost there anyway. What is this? Can I pop it away? Is that what we need? For the chain up? Ah, the meat is dropped by tribal warriors. Oh, maybe those guys just now, uh, is it? I'm so sure. Alright, anyway, to the story. You've come a long way. How does the break sound? Great idea! All this sightseeing is making Paimon hungry. Oh, are you all out of candy? I've got some more if you want. I've also got bread, drinks, fried rice. Roasted apples. Fried rice sounds nice. Whoa, you're practically <laughs> a walking cafeteria! I just like bringing a lot of stuff with me. As my mom always says, it pays to be prepared. They only come in handy every so often. <laughs> but hey, better late than never, right? Huh? Is everything okay, Traveler? Seems like you've oh, got something you on your mind. Yeah, that was so weird. It has to mean something, don't you think? Actually, you know what? It could be because our Archon is different from the rest. Different how? How? Well, I heard that other nations' Archons live a long time and belong to a class of extremely powerful beings known as gods. So your Archon is not a god? And that's not the case in Natland? Not at all. Every Pyral Archon in Natland was an ordinary person before taking on the role. Huh? 
A human serving as an archon? Is that uh, even possible? That's kind of like what Fulina did, but a human ascending to the divine throne. Well, we remember of. Well, that was a uh, lord in comic, Vanessa. You find it hard to believe, too, huh? So, that's not normal then? I guess so I've just gotten don't. used to how things are here in Natlin. Unless the archons here, they don't ascend to. Well, based on what we've seen, that's not usually how it works. It can't be that easy for a human to become an Archon, right? Ah, uh, yeah, unless to them, Archon is different, maybe. Pretty sure the Pyro Archon's the only one who can answer that. Alright, we have to talk to Marvika then. I do know this, though. Even after becoming the Pyro Archon, the person in the position still grows old and requires rest. Ah, well, that's different then. The statue of the Seven may look a lot like our current Archon, but that has to be a coincidence. Countless people have yeah. held that title over the years. Countless people? Oh, I should also mention, the pilgrimage is actually how we select the Pyro Archon. Anyone can claim the title, you just have to prove your strength. No, that's weird. If anyone can claim the title, they must have Pyro powers. Right? Or they just have Pyro. So the contest is all about how strong you are. That's right. We believe performance in battle is the most comprehensive test for a future Archon. Plus, when someone emerges victorious, it's hard to argue with the results. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. So that's how Don't just take my word for it, though. Even the tribe elders said they've never seen an Archon with such strength before. But it's just as Chief Pakal said. Today's limits are tomorrow's breakthroughs. Our future Archons will go from strength to strength. Okay, Paimon's gonna ignore the whole human becoming an Archon thing for now. It's just... If she's really that strong, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing for us? If we think back to what happened in Inazuma... Um... On how she feels about us. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Our Archon's a wonderful person and very welcoming to guests. I think you'll get along great. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we're planning on causing trouble either. It'll all work out. He'll meet her soon enough. All right, Paimon's just about ready to... Huh? What's that? Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislin. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but only people from that land can use that power. Only? Really? Oh, even Traveler cannot because... Yeah, we still have the bar, but it's... We can't use it unless that land. Maybe we get a trial, uh... Trial to Tina. What's that? Oh, that increases the phlogiston. Okay. Infused with phlogiston. Oh, that uses up? Uh, huh? oh, wait, wait, wait! You can use it too? How? <laughs> It just came naturally. Oh, so maybe we have that power instead, huh? That was amazing! I don't even know what to say! So we can do that. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a dinosaur. Wait, look behind you! Something's coming! What do we do? Is something after us? Should we get ready to fight? Mm, I think it's just the local... We're fine, like it, yeah. we're fine. This here is Toto. Hiya, Toto. It's a friend. <laughs> it's wow. me, Kachina. It's a silent roar. Well, aren't we looking lively today? Did the chisel floor you over here? <laughs> Warm, isn't it? Oh, so 
Ooh, it was just a friendly Saurian. That's right. There's quite a few of them around here, and Toto's the friendliest and gentlest of the bunch. He's always hanging around these parts. I swear he does it just to show off to any outlanders that might come this way. Don't let his size fool you, though. He's just a big softy. <laughs> uh, what does the crouching mean? That's an invitation. He's offering us a ride. Aww. Um, I'm not so sure about this. It's kind of scary, <laughs> don't you, you think? Fly. It's huge. Oh, oh good point. <laughs> You guys have fun with that, then. Paimon will just float alongside. Alright. Sure. <laughs> wow. The sightseeing is even better from up here. The higher the vantage point, the better the view. Are you and Toto close, Kachina? Yep. When I was little, my parents and I went to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame to buy a bunch of different fruits, but the car we were using to transport them flipped over on our way back. Toto wasn't even half his current size back then, but I still burst into tears when I saw him approach. I was afraid he was going to eat all the berries and sensetias and leave none left for me. In the end, though, he didn't eat a single one, and even chased off a few other Saurians looking to snatch a few for themselves. After that, he used his big head to help get our cart right side up again. I've been bringing him fruit ever since. Oh, and I was the one that named him Toto, actually. <laughs> With the sheer amount of food he can eat, he pretty much grew like a weed. Before I knew it, he was already this big. Wow. Is that the stadium? Oh, look over there! That's our destination! The Stadium of the Sacred Flame. You can let us off here, Toto. Thanks for the lift. It's an easy walk from here, so I say we head the rest of the way on foot. It'd be quite the trek for Toto otherwise. That's true, especially considering his size. Well, see you later, Toto! Alright. Another statue right here. <laughs> Stadium of the Sacred Flame. You still can't get elemental power. <laughs> So, no button to resonate. Oh, wait. Cannot resonate with Pyro. <laughs> Alright. Stamina plus seven. But really nice. This feels African. I guess. Right? This is a piece of Africa. We're not gonna fight. No, 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 we're not gonna fight. Oh, the music change. Just collect this stuff. Don't mind me. Yo, okay, I'm... How does he fight? Just do this. Hey. Are you still gonna attack? Oh shit, okay, they, they do attack. Okay, never mind. What if I... Wait, that's a small one. Let this uh sorry now. <laughs> the music game. Is this is this another one or Okay, there's a waypoint up. Oh. Can I wait? Just 
serious. I, I want to know how it works. Uh. Oh, wow! I can join the team. So. Wait. I just sound like Abby. Sounds similar. Eh? <laughs> Listen here, Pixel me. Dragon. It's not just Kanish and Molani's time Kanish you're wasting, Mulani. but mine too. Mine. What the heck? That's a strange-looking Saurian. Or wait, is it even a Saurian? Take it That's down Kanish. a notch, all right? You don't even know some of these people. Oh shit. The pixel guy. Just because Kachin is too nice to get mad at you doesn't give you an excuse to be rude to her. And what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you think you're the boss of <laughs> Hey! Oh, what do you think you're doing? Bruh. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I'll put him in a timeout for now. Sorry about that. I put him in a timeout. Aw, you didn't have to do that. Hal just doesn't have much of a filter, that's all. I don't mind. And uh, Walani, he got what he no. deserved. Let's just hope the lesson sticks this time. Okay, the new characters <laughs> are here. Walani, there you are. Looks like you made some new friends. And here I was worried you ran into trouble on your way here. Hello, Paimon's Paimon. A traveler, you say? You came at the perfect time. The pilgrimage is a sight to behold this time of year. I don't see your teammates with you, Kachina. Where are they? Oh, uh, they went to join teams with a better chance at winning. So you're saying you've been ditched? Again. <sighs> that might give them an advantage during the team stage, but it all comes down to individual strength sooner or later. Is everyone here a team leader or is it just her? Yeah, well... I couldn't even promise them we would make it through the team stage. The outcome of the team stage usually it's depends on the ancient nightmare, like after all. Hey now... There's not a single person here that can promise their team victory. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Besides, you're not lacking in strength at all. You just need a bit more confidence. You were only three victories short of reaching the Night Warden Wars last time. Wait! So... If the pilgrimage is like a national sporting competition, then what are the Night Warden Wars? The former is a battle of skill. The latter is a real war. Oh. A war against our eternal enemy, the Abyss. Oh. So they're here too. Well, we know the Abyss is involved. We saw the trailer. Well, wait a second. Right, so You're saying again. the prize for winning the pilgrimage is the chance to go to war? That's not too far off. That's why it's called the Night Warden Wars. The pilgrimage chooses the strongest warriors among the tribes. And those warriors fight to repel the abyss in defense of our homeland. Their names and deeds are then recorded in epic tales passed down over time. That is the highest honor you can achieve in Natlan. 
Yes, but that's the nature of war. Danger comes with the territory. I think it's the only... Well, besides the first one. The only one that is bes that is not the traveler's story that has abyss. Resisting the abyss is our duty. But we're not alone in this fight. We also have the blessing of our Archon, which allows for our safe return. It's something we call the Ode of Resurrection. Ode of Resurrection? Which does exactly what it sounds like, basically. Isn't that the trailer title? Resurrect this? people, you mean? Yeah. Yep. So it's not so scary, really. Our Archon's blessing Resurrect? gives us the courage to keep moving forward. Let's go register. We don't have much time. Wait, what about you, Kachina? You're not really planning on competing solo, are you? We really wish we could help, but we're not from here, so it doesn't seem like we can take part. There's no threshold to the number of participants. With the sheer number of teams, it's practically guaranteed <laughs> chaos. So you can still register solo, oh, poor Kachina. No matter how strong or experienced the warrior, victory is never assured. In a situation like that, it's always better to have someone to watch your back. Oh, how about this? When we register, why don't we ask if these two can have special permission to participate? Odds are the answer will be no, so if that doesn't work, well... I only have a few teammates this time. <clears throat> if someone else could take them, then... You're not asking me to lead your team, are you? <laughs> Look at you, mind reader. So, what do you say? With how strong you are, it would practically be an upgrade for my teammates. Fine by me, but doesn't that leave you and Kachina as a team of two? Oh. <laughs> There's a world of difference between that and flying the solo. On Besides, we're a formidable duo. No? I bet our new friends here will agree that two is always better than one, right? Oh, you mean us? I thought the three of them are their own separate teams because they're different. <laughs> okay. You're right! Two is definitely better than one! <clears throat> it's just like the old saying we have here in Natland. No one fights alone. But... What if I drag you down? Listen to yourself. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Natland who can beat us when I we're together. I heard Morani is very broken. Broken and using that, maybe. <laughs> Hearing you <clears throat> say that does make me feel a little more confident. <sighs> Still... Teams rarely contain more than one ancient name. Oh player. yeah, so you can. People are definitely you gonna think of us as one. cowards. So all three of them are ancient name bearers, right? The rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they think? So uh, that's why. Okay, okay, okay. It's not like they left us any other option. Well, I'll leave you to break the news to your soon-to-be former teammates. I'm not good at stuff like that. Soon to be formal, oh no. <laughs> oh, I know. They deserve to hear it from me anyway. Uh, just give me a second, you guys. We can go sign up together once I'm done. Oh, wait, point. Let's play Kachina. So, we still can't level... Level 40. I mean, okay. Let me do the test run real quick <laughs> of Kachina. Just, uh, just so that I can level her up a bit. I also want to know how to use her. Oh, right. The test run is different now. What the hell is this? Okay. Kinda of slow, but it's better than climbing over. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, an 
Okay. Yeah, we have a key. But <laughs> I thought it was just so dumb. We can't jump in. We can't jump in. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm glad I tried that out. <laughs> Damn, the, so everyone is like that now? Even for the need, the old characters? Yeah, it might be. Eh? Uh, that would be interesting. Okay, so now I can send. Are my ears trembling? No, I'm not nervous. All right, level forty. Oh wait. Okay, let's continue. This is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? Oh yeah. There were flags, weren't there? Those are our tribal flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natland, including the children of Echoes. Why the sudden tour guide routine? 
<laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natlan, and we've got nothing better to do, so I mm -hmm. might as well deliver on the promise. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. So we children, live high in the mountains like and the have the closest ties to the Yumkus. Science of the Canopies, the Dendro one, maybe? My friend Moalani belongs to the people of the springs. The Hydro one. A seaside tribe. The scenery over there is tribe. beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightwind, and the Collective of Plenty. So, animal? Uh, Flower Feather Clan. Collective of plenty. There has to be an electro and what's missing? Yeah, there's one electro and one pyro. Is it? Maybe. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in for our chief. And welcome you on behalf of the people of the springs. Mulani, you're back! We were just talking about you. Everything settled on my end. My teammates took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kanich. They probably just didn't see any drawbacks to your proposition. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor. And they recognize that. Anyway, thanks for waiting, you guys. Let's go register. <laughs> Hello there. Here to register for the pilgrimage? That's right. I wanted to ask, though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? I'm sorry, but only yeah, people from Natlan are eligible to participate. Okay, so we can't. <laughs> you couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. He's more than skilled enough to participate. And I'm sure the audience would be interested in seeing what he can do. It's not that simple, Miss Molani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the future. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. This is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the abyss, while the sacred flame burns eternal. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. That was the initial purpose, actually. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That's what makes it such an honor to take part. Exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contending fire can only be produced in battles between people of Natlan. Produced in battles between people. This is similar like the trials in Fontaine. <laughs> Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could in turn jeopardize the sacred flame. Oh. So it all comes down to the contending fire. Well, you can still enjoy yeah, the event from the stands. Fire. I'll try to get you some good seats. That would be great! Tourists like us are better suited to being spectators anyway. Yeah, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. Why do you have to go through the process of selecting warriors? You read Paimon's mind, Traveler. Why does everyone just fight together? You know, since you can bring them back to life. The power of resurrection it's has its limits. Simple, right? For starters, the ode only works on those who bear an ancient name. So you saying anyone who has an ancient name can die? And they can be revived back? So you're saying like maybe one of you Oh shit. That might be foreshadowing something I do not want to know. That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the abyss. Aren't sent to fight. Ordinary people. It's for their own protection. Oh. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the abyss in battle. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. <laughs> Just one word. Victory. Victory? The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. Huh? Only those who triumph over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. Oh. Defeat in battle? 
destruction of your ancient name. So it's saying if you revive, if you are being revived, you don't have your ancient name anymore. The tales of the vanquished are eventually like forgotten, and an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost to time. Why would the victors need to be revived? Yeah, if they win, why would they need to be revived? Yeah, they won, right? Isn't it the defeated ones who need reviving? You have to think about it at the team level. For example, five representatives will be sent to repel the abyss this time. Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. All you need is for one person to return victorious. If four of them perish... One person... Oh, so if everyone... If everyone lost, then you can't revive them. Unless one person wins. Because every victory is a building block of our legacy. Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. Otherwise, the price of failure is still very high. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams. To instill in us the importance of working together. No one fights Teamwork. alone. That Makes is what we believe. Makes sense no one fights alone. The lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. Ah, okay, now that makes sense. This all sounds pretty dangerous. Yeah, so if, if you're alone and you lost, you just lost. Well, that axiom is meant to be a warning as much as a source of inspiration. Danger is always present. But together, we can move forward, united in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Natlan as well as our Archon. Not to mention, the Abyss isn't an enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. I've actually fallen in battle before. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Wyab. It was unlike anything I've ever experienced the before. The realm of the Wyab? Does that mean the Wyab exists somewhere in Yatland? Hard to say. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the Wyab. We call this realm the Night Kingdom, a mysterious liminal space between the body and mind, life and death. The fact that you were resurrected at <laughs> all is the worst thing in the world. So he has been resurrected before. Then releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close <laughs> second. God damn this big so <laughs> You would do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon lord Kahula How. <laughs> Lest you live to regret it. Seriously, he, he sounds like Abby from Kuma. If you're done arguing, your registration is now complete. Huh. It all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now, I just need to register your team members according to their name cards, and you'll be all set. In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. As usual, dinner and lodging for tonight are free. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. All food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house. Wow. Courtesy of our Archon, family and friends included. Which means you both get in on it. Come on, let's go have some fun! Okay, <clears throat> go to the very in for a meal. I like, want to use this skill all the time, but yeah, it consumes the. Locust on the moon. Wait, look, take a look at the map. We have not seen a uh, Catherine. Oh, wait, it's above. The crown. Table is above as well. I kind of want to go up the floor. Can we access the Catherine or not yet? Wait. Ah, no! No, thank goodness you can climb with that. Oh, look what we found. Look at all these shiny rocks! Yeah. I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> so 
bounds. I assume it's somewhere here. Let's go, Okay, that's all. Oh. All right, <laughs> we found the Catherine in Netherlands. Now let's how do we get? Oh, it was just upstairs. God damn it. <laughs> All that for. I don't know where was it. It was just upstairs. Okay. Dig in, you guys. Eat as much as you want. These dishes are all local specialties. There's more where this came from, too, so don't be shy. Oh. Let's feast until the bill gives the Archon a heart attack. Damn it. Don't be dramatic. The Pyro Archon is very generous. Even if it does cause some trouble for all the hotel workers and volunteers. Speaking of trouble, I've locked a how away for now. A how? So you don't have to knows. worry about him being a nuisance. Wait, isn't that a little harsh? Nah, Kenich and a how are always like that. Everyone has their own unique way of getting along with their Saurian companion. So he is a Saurian. Aww. What's got you all down in the dumps, Kachina? You don't have to worry about tomorrow. I'll be with you every step of the way. I know, I know. Everything's fine, really. I'm just... I'm just nervous. I can't keep using my age as an excuse. I have to get stronger. Oh, I have to prove to people that I'm not trying to avoid the Night Warden Wars. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You know your own heart. So stop beating yourself up over other people's opinions. If they don't think you deserve to bear your ancient name, they can take it up at the Wyub. Trust me, Kachina. The Wyub see something special in you. I just hope it's not the fact that I can take a few punches. Yeah, I'm on a seven or eight pilgrimage losing streak. Mm. My ranking has been improving little by little, but still no wins. To be honest, losing seven or eight times isn't even a lot. Maybe other people can't see your improvement, but your performance still isn't something to scoff at. Yeah, didn't you say you got really close before? It's just... What if I don't even make it through the team stage this time? Hey, have a little faith, will you? You've got me on your team! Stumble, and I'll be there to get you back on your feet. Run into someone you can't beat, and we'll face them together. 
I know you've never tasted victory, but you trust me, don't you? Lilani! Aww. You're... You're the best! I trust you. I definitely do. And you're right. I've got to pull myself together. I still don't know why the Lyab chose me to inherit an ancient name, but... I can't be the only bear who's ever felt this way. If they can keep at it, so can I. Not to mention, the fact that your ancient name has survived until now means all your forebears managed to honor its meaning. Otherwise, it would be lost to us by now. Shattered by defeat in battle. That's right! And you'll have us rooting for you too! No, no, no. It should be the other way around. I was clearly the one who has to learn from you. But still... <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Jeez, now I'm crying again. Everyone has been so nice to me today. I'll win this time for sure. I won't let your support go to waste. Oh, right. I should eat something. My mom said I need to keep up my strength for tomorrow. Nice to see your game face back, Katina. Thanks for encouraging her, you two. It's easy for people to only see how she has a lot to learn, so... It isn't often that she meets people willing to treat her with patience. Don't you worry. We've seen how kind and hardworking she is. We can already tell she's a wonderful person. Take it easy. You're getting tears in your food. I... I'll pour you all some drinks. I brought some homemade fruit juice. Let me just go grab some cups. She even travels with homemade juice? <laughs> Kachina's backpack is practically a bottomless pit. It's got everything. <sighs> That's true, but she definitely only offered us some so she could go find somewhere to cry for a little while. Seems like you two really look out for her. She's like a little sister to me, you know? She's already so talented. She just needs that one decisive win to convince her of it. Mm. And I have a feeling this is the one. This could be the win that finally gives her that she confidence. Has to have a win. That she, she be so... Why are you so sure? Is that what happened to you? Oh no no. I was just born confident. <laughs> Mulani's being modest. She's like broke. She's her. already a three-time veteran her. of the Night of Warren Wars. Came out on top each time. Three time veteran. And she's never had to be resurrected. Oh, never lost. That's amazing! Nah, it's no big deal. The opponents I had to face were pretty tame, that's all. Ooh, no wait, that makes it sound too unimpressive. Either way, the challenges haven't been that difficult so far. But I'd love to fight alongside Kachina and experience the glory of victory together. The flowers, the applause. Paimon gets it! That's how Paimon and the Traveler are too. Are we ready? <laughs> hey, a little more confidence, please! Paimon's always there to cheer you on! Drinks are here! <laughs> Better try them while they're still fresh. Feeling better now, Kachina? Me? <laughs> I'm totally fine. Really, I promise. That was just nerves earlier. I'm gonna get some meat in my system, then head out to get some exercise. I'm gonna be nice and loose for the tournament tomorrow. I'll come with you. Just don't go overboard, okay? The last thing we need is for someone to oversleep. We've got an early day tomorrow. <laughs> If only we had a friend who never oversleeps. All right, fine. Make sure you guys are up on time. Atta boy. I knew you'd catch on. Okay. It's so full. Oh, I'm so sleepy. We should get a good night's sleep before the competition tomorrow. I'm still a little worried about Kachina, though. Look for Kachina and Walani. Maybe we can help her out with her training. She did say she wanted to learn from us. Not that Paimon's gonna be doing much of the teaching. I actually want to do this optional quest. Is it the story quest? Or... Wait, let's see. Let me, let me check. What is this actually? Uh, no. Look for Kachina and Moilani optional. What does that mean? Yeah, 
before things start. I kind of want to. Okay. I think it's like a story concert, but where am I supposed to go? Can I just can I just teleport? Yeah, they're outside. Is this a story quest or? <laughs> Let's see. This is interesting. Ooh. Hey, Gina! Oh, it's you two! I just finished training with Mililani. What's up? Well, you worked so hard to introduce us to Nala, and we wanted to return the favor! Wow, you guys are exactly like Kachina described. No wonder she's already your biggest fan. Guess I should make myself scarce, though. Kachina was the one who helped you out all day, so I don't want to intrude on your secret teachings. A battle is more than just a contest of strength. Huh? What do you mean? Observation? Yeah! The person who hits the hardest isn't always the one who wins! Yeah, it's not always the DPS, right? It's the support as well. And oh, blah, blah, blah. I... <laughs> I think I get it. You're saying, fight smarter, not harder. Having the strength to win is just as important as knowing the right strategy. Atta girl, Kachina. Exploit your opponent's weaknesses while maximizing your own strengths, and you're sure to find opportunities to turn the tides in your favor. You're right. I just need to focus. <coughs> when I get nervous, I forget to assess the situation. And end up rushing in without a plan. Mind sticking around a little longer, Moalani? I want to try out some new moves. Sure. Thanks for taking the time to teach me, you two. I won't let you down. Just give it your best shot. Is that it? Oh, okay, that was not one. Alright, interesting. Wait. I'm not keeping you up, am I? You sure you'll be fine tomorrow? Oh, I'm bursting with energy. I couldn't sleep if I wanted to. Interesting. Alright. So, that was like an extra that you can. Uh, optional, eh? And I'm glad I did that. Alright. So, the next day. Like everyone's here right on time. <laughs> Good to see that no one overslept. <laughs> Says the one who only made it because I was there to get you. Wow, not so loud. You're gonna give me a headache. Well, if you don't do well today, we know who to blame now, don't we? See how your friends talk to me, Kanich? <laughs> I help you wake them up, make sure everyone's on time, and do I get a thank you, a how? No! I get told off! Mulalani's right, though. <laughs> <sighs> Hopeless. Every last one of you. All right, moving on. How did you sleep last night, Kachina? I had some nerves at first, but my bed was great. I fell asleep the minute my head hit the pillow. That's good to hear. Maybe you handle stress better than you know. The competition's about to start. Did everyone eat something? A little. Didn't want to overdo it. Oh, no. We were so busy focusing on the tournament, we forgot to buy something. I thought that might happen. Here, I brought you some. No thanks necessary. I'll treat you to something even better once. What? Attention, everyone. The tournament is about to begin. 
All contestants proceed to the venue. I repeat, all contestants proceed to the venue. Well, I'd say more, but that's our cue. The opening ceremony is what kicks everything off. You should be able to see Kachina and me from the stands. We're counting on you to cheer us on. Don't you worry. Paimon's gonna cheer so loud, you'll hear it across the stadium. I can't wait to see this. Thanks, you two. I'll be sure to keep an ear out. Well, we should get going. See you later. Okay, bye. Are we buying food? Uh. <laughs> Attention everyone! The tournament's about all to begin! Okay. All spectators, please take your seats. I repeat, all spectators, please take your seats. Oh, that's our cue! Wow, we've definitely never witnessed a competition of this scale before. Let's go in once you're ready. Alright, so... Right now... We're kinda not with Kachina, right? So just in case anything, um, what are my things? We'll bring the other one. Pull the trigger. Just in case. Now, where are we supposed to go? Entering the stadium of the Sacred Flame. You won't be able to leave the arena once the tournament begins. During the pilgrimage, certain systems and functions will be unavailable. What will be restored once it ends? Okay. Uh Alright, hold on. You get to prepare first before the competition starts. Wow! I can join the team? Already got her. I guess I guess we're kinda ready. Yeah, let's go. Don't Entering worry. the stadium of the Sacred Flame? You won't be able to leave the arena once the tournament begins. Yeah, 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 sure. Enter. Let's go. <clears throat> Might be a long one. Eh? <laughs> it's already two hours though. How much more will there be? Alright, let's see this. The pilgrimage of the return of the Sacred Flame is a competition with a long storied history. Countless hopefuls have gathered here today, each vying for the same prize. The right to serve their homeland in the Night Warden War. Before we begin, allow me to remind everyone of the rules. Today's tournament begins with so a team, team stage, first, before advancing into individual competition. Yo. Each team will board a hot air balloon, which will land at a random location. Contestants must search for fire towers within the contest grounds. Accumulate contending fire through combat and bring a sufficient amount back to the stadium. Defeat in combat, contending departure fire. from the contest grounds, and running out of time all lead to elimination. Only the strongest teams will be able to withstand the onslaught of battle and return to the arena blazing fire in hand. Interesting. Whoa. Only Yo. those who emerge triumphant in the team stage earn the right to take part in the individual battles. The outcome of these one-on-one -on -one matches not only affects the contestants' individual scores, but also determines their next opponent. Yo. After Dude. many rounds of battle, the contestants Literally with the top like five the rankings one -on -one. will get the chance to take part in the Night Warden War. The top five. Now. Let us welcome our Archon as she delivers the opening address! Yo, let's go! Oh, what an entrance! Damn! Her hair is literally burning. <laughs> Skill! Strategy, fortune, form. Many factors influence strength, but victory never lies. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us, but also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. Today marks the beginning of yet another legendary saga, one written in the triumphs of the victors. Let's go. So, Without further ado, let the games begin! So that's the Pyro Archon? Uh, 
Is it just Paimon, or does she seem kind of intimidating? Kachina said she was friendly and welcoming, but... Uh... How did she come to that conclusion? Yeah, but it would be kind of rude to bother her during the pilgrimage, don't you think? Yeah, maybe not now, though. Maybe later. We should wait for a better time. Oh, oh look! It's Kachina and the others! Well, folks, it's yeah, clear the contestants are already so raring to go. Team? The teams will now board their hot air balloons and make their way to the competition grounds. Chaska! Chaska! Chaska? Wait, Chaska... Yeah, Yo, Kick their butts, Itzna! Chaska, is it Itzna? Is who? Go, Mulani, go! You can do it, Kachina! Uh. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild! The hot air balloons are about to ascend. Contestants, prepare yourselves to take Oh, flight. Yang Sun is here. Remember the rules. The balloons will take you to random locations, and your battle starts the moment you land. Best your competition. Wait, gonna play Collect Kachina, sacred or? fire and bring it back to scene. the stadium. The balloons will take you to random locations, and battle starts the moment you land. Good luck, everyone. Are we playing as one of the players? Yes, or is this, this is where we're starting. Oh shit. Wait, are we playing as both of them? Let me see. As a team? It seems pretty quiet around here. Looks like we get to ease ourselves into combat today. Let's head that way. We don't need to worry about avoiding other teams. Anyone that crosses our path can kiss their chances goodbye. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Just remember, don't hesitate. The team matches are all about keeping the energy up. So let's do it. I think we're playing as both of them. Both trial characters? And with that, the pilgrimage oh, is now underway. Shit. Time for the contestants to give it their all! Collect contending sparks. That's literally the weapon. Of course, no blast. I'm not surprised there. This is literally my constellation. Full crown, triple crown. Triple crown as well. So, so. Of course, no blast. Alright. So. How does she work? I haven't tried her yet. Carbon, a fire tower! And an unoccupied one from the looks of it. Be on the lookout for an ambush. Unstable flow based on crystals. Uh, okay. Careful, we've got company! Oh. Alright, let's finish this fast! <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves an easy start! <laughs> Perfect timing! We've got to fight to generate contending fire in the first place. So let's go! Winner oh. takes all, loser gets all. She now. Okay. 60,000 per attack. <laughs> no, no, no. Was it nine? <laughs> We're just getting started. Was it nine? Grab the fire and let's head to the next spot. Currently okay. in the lead, we have Chaska, one of the contestants from the Flower Feather Clan, really okay, leaving her spot. competitors in the dust. Amaru has taken out six contestants in a row. What a legendary competitor! But can his hot streak continue? To an interesting duo. How did these monsters make it onto the grounds? Oh. How do we handle these monsters? We're fighting the both of them. Then we can battle after ourselves. Okay, we fight. Okay, yeah, sure. Help us out the monsters, then uh, we'll fight you. Thank you. Now we fight you. Your skills aren't half bad. <laughs> I think I've got a good grasp of what you can do. Oh! So, Holy shit! Nicely done, Kajina! We... we actually beat a legend! Come on, don't just stand there. Let's grab the fire and go! We have a new team pulling ahead! Mulani and Kajina have already eliminated several favorites for the win! I'll say Mulani is the DPS, Kajina is the support. 
um, wait, this, oh, it's right there. I knew someone would show up. Oh. Hand over the sacred fire and no one gets hurt. Oh. <laughs> Boom, 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 and one more. Let's finish this one. Right here. I have no energy here. Carbon Would you look at this? Two favorites for the win. It's not, and Unkunga have run into each other. Looks like it's gonna be an early goodbye for one of these formidable competitors. Bye. Boom. <laughs> Oh, the music. Forget it. Get there. Right here. Molten fishes and move rapidly. Oh, shit. This mountain's huge. Is the next tower really all the way up there? It's going to take forever to make it to the top. Just leave it to me. I'll get us up there. Oh, uh, we made it. Yo. Great work, whoa, 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 Kachina. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We skipped the battle. <laughs> Glad I could help. An empty fire tower. We're too late. Darn it. So close. And another competitor crosses the finish line. Yansan oh, from the collection of plenty. Certainly living up to some lofty expectations. Yo, one line is so Let's round them up! <laughs> what was that? Right here! Well, this was new. Mr. Horse? Kachina! Is that you? I'm sorry about this, but since we're into each other, me. I can't just let you pass. If you want glory, you'll have to go through me. Not just the key. Out of the way or get blown away. Out of the way or get blown away. Every minute that passes, fewer and fewer contestants remain in play. The remaining competitors need to hurry if they want to make it out of this stage. Hold it right there. That fire is mine. In your dreams, I think yeah, someone needs other, a reality right? check, and I'm more than happy to oblige. Oh, they're going at it. What's our play, Mualani? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> to send them all packing. Oh, this shit. <laughs> they actually made enemies fight each other, that's so good. They're not just fighting for the others. That's new. There you go. Wow! <laughs> this was new. Yo, this is fun, man. You've collected enough sacred fire. Let's go. Still doing all right, Kachina? Ambush. <sighs> Oh, we're running out of time. There's a spirit way over there. Spirit way? Not so plus. We can ride it back. Let's go. Oh, we really lucked out. Just grab onto me, Kachina. I'm not sure if you remember, but people from my tribe can ride spirit ways over great distances. <laughs> it's all smooth sailing no, from here. Thanks, Malani. <laughs> hey, what are you thanking me for? We won as a team. There's no way I could have taken on that many people without you. Have a little faith in yourself. Return to the stadium of Sacred Wow, this is kind of cheating for this fight. <laughs> because they can ride this. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, those are some steep curves. And we're back. <laughs> Not scared, are you? I'm fine. I don't scare easily. Not after that last ride you took me on. Oh, off. yeah. Back when we first met, right? I accidentally knocked over your piece of cake, then offered to take you spirit way surfing to make up for it. Actually, I was feeling pretty down that day. My training didn't go well, and... Anyway, you really cheered me up. Mommy, what is I... This I really want to win this time. I want to win this pilgrimage and become a true warrior. That's what I like to hear. Let's... If your team has gathered enough fire, Please proceed to the stadium as quickly as possible. I repeat, as quickly as possible. All right, we did it. <clears throat> Congratulations, Mulani. Congratulations, Kachina. You've successfully cleared nice. the team stage. Yeah. Kachina probably wouldn't have done it alone. <laughs> It's teamwork. Amazing! Congratulations! Congratulations! Keep it up, Mulani! Kachina! Mulani! Yo! Kachina! Mulani! Woo! Kachina! Mulani! That's our voice. You two can take a short break while the team stage comes to a close. <coughs> we'll draw names to determine the individual matchups in a moment. After that, we'll proceed to the next stage of the competition. I wish you both the best. You two are assigned to different lounge areas. If you'll follow me, please, Kachina. So the team is over. Solo well. battles next. And I was three wins short last time. I've got to do better. Just calm down, Kachina. You're in good form. You can do this. Hold it right there. This is the contestant's lounge. Unauthorized access is prohibited. Is this us or more contestants oh, no. too? <laughs> Let us through. Uh, according to my list, you're not among the individual match contenders, nor are uh, you related to any of the remaining candidates. Well, we'd still be candidates if it was just yeah, based on strength. strength. Isn't it the one we, we only lost because two other contestants snuck up on us like cowards. If you could just go contact the referee, we'll wait right here for you to. Don't be sore losers, man. Oh. Wait, you two are. Well, look who we have here. God damn it. Remember us? Your little trick got us disqualified. Since we've crossed paths again, let's settle this once and for all. We'll see who truly deserves to advance to the next stage. Fight us! Right now? Don't mind him, Kachina. Tournament rules place you under no obligation to honor that request. A loss no, is a loss, already. and that's final. You! Don't just stand there! Get security over here now! Forget the rules. Isn't the pilgrimage about picking the strongest warriors? It's not about the strongest She just happened warriors. to catch us off guard. It was all luck. Exactly. Now's our chance to duke it out fair and square. That's so... Kachina! Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> Who are you? Trevor! Paimon! What are you doing here? We just came to have a chat and then all of a sudden these guys were threatening you! You're not bullying Kachina on our watch! Uh, thanks, you guys. I don't know your names, but if you really want to face me, I'll allow it. It has to wait until after the tournament, though. I need to focus on the upcoming matches. I don't want to let my parents down, or any of the friends who helped me get this far. That's enough, you two. Being caught off guard is not an excuse. Yeah. You think you can cry foul play when you face the abyss? <laughs> if this behavior persists, you may find yourselves barred from future competition. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go. Okay. Are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No. Thanks to you. To be honest, I totally blinked out just now. I had no idea what to do. Alright. I... I'll show them what I'm made of. That sounds more like it. You can do it! I heard there was trouble. Has the situation been resolved? <clears throat> no, I didn't Yes. 
It was nothing out of the ordinary. A couple of sore losers coming to stir up trouble with the contestants. <sighs> Some people are so obsessed with glory. They can't even bear the idea of failure. I hope you don't let them get to you, Kachina, because you'll need to get ready. Your match is up soon. That came up quick. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> well, guess I'm off. Still going, huh? Prefer for the... Wait, we still <laughs> Okay. We issued a warning to those two troublemakers. Try not to let them get to you. We get people like that every year. The pilgrimage oh, symbolizes glory. And some people can't accept missing out on the chance to claim. Wait, Chad will find one out there. <laughs> Yo, what? Have faith in yourself, Kachina. And don't get too tense. Yeah, she Kachina's you stay. Oh wow, okay, this is actually it's actually cool. So who's our opponent? An NPC? Yep. <coughs> you must be Kachina. You know, people told me I got lucky in the draw, but I beg to differ. There are no coincidences in the arena. If you're standing here, it means you're strong. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you're made of. Let's go. The team stage ended before I had it's my fill spirit. of battle. I hope you don't disappoint. Support. Well, anything you want to say in return? I... I won't lose to you. Not when so many people are supporting me. And cheering for me. And I... I really want to earn a spot in the Night Warden Wars. All right. Our contestants have each said their piece. To your places, everyone! And... begin! Let's go. 1v1. Level 102. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Hit wrong button. 1v1, this is awesome. And we're actually using the characters to battle. Come on, you can do better! This will take a while, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, this is fun, man. Actually, that's more like it. Again. Nope, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. There we go. <clears throat> I actually lost. <laughs> Knew I had an eye for the good ones. Guess that means I was right about you all along. Congratulations to Kachina nice. for taking the win. Let's give her a round of applause, Let everyone. Now, Molani, diving into the other matchups. That's one down! Woohoo! This is literally Jenny exam. <laughs> oh, she's still fighting more, okay. Oh shit! Don't give up, Juan. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, let's go. How many matches then? Oh, okay. Where do you come from, kid? Think you've got what it takes to go to war? I hate to break it to you, but it won't be easy to get through me. 
And you are... <laughs> you don't recognize me? <laughs> Figures. Our generation's Trust been in decline ever since Atea and the others retired from the front lines. What? Either way, once we face off, you won't forget my name anytime soon. <laughs> Let's do this! Oh, man. Hear that? The exhilarating cheers of the crowd. That's why I'm... Lock. Okay. Let her rip. I can feel it. What are you gonna do? Are you just gonna move? Oh. Oh. Okay. Observe. Observe. Okay. So just slide here. Okay. No hit run. Let's get a block. Oh shit, okay, never mind. There, there goes my no hit run. Oh, okay. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Destroy the. I, okay, we know what to do. <sighs> Gotta hand it to you, kid. You really impressed me. I take back what I said before, Match. You've got what it takes, Kachina. Youngsters like you, oh no, you afford your own them. miracles. And it's Kachina for the win! We'll now head into a short break as our contestants prepare for the final round of competition. Wait, is it really final round? Wait, does that mean... Thanks for cheering me on, you two! You were great out there! You faced a lot of impressive competitors, but they never stood a chance! 
Did you not see Mola? Any battle? <laughs> I don't think I did too shabby either. I is it gonna be versus Mola? I mean, that's before. gonna be a problem. <laughs> you ready for the last round, Kachina? Mulani! I got permission to come see you before the last round starts. Based on your score, it looks like you'll make it to the Night Warden Wars if you win your next match. If you win. But, uh, your final yeah. opponent. <laughs> it's me! Oh, well, okay, that's a little bit of a problem. What? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I just found out myself. We're really close in the rankings, so <coughs> only the winner gets to move forward. But I. I wanted to fight alongside That's not you. Fair. <laughs> I to did too, team, but, but oh, it is what it is. Individual. People with similar scores tend to get matched against each other, but we just have to get past it. War is cruel, and the Abyss certainly isn't going to go easy on us. So wait. Only Natland's strongest deserve Molani? to stand against them. Is there a Molani NPC fight or I mean a Molani AI fight? Or is it just a cutscene? So? I'm going to give this battle my all, Kachina. And I hope you do the same. To be honest, <laughs> I don't think Kachina can win against Malani though. <laughs> to hand victory to your opponent is to take pity on them. But no one's asking for pity here, yeah? So? You ready? I... I'll do my best! Yeah, Atta that's girl. the spirit. So, if one of you has to lose, who should we cheer for then? <laughs> you mean one of us is destined to win? It's something worth celebrating either way. I'll be happy no matter who wins. And I know you feel the same way, Kachina. So, don't overthink it. Let's just have ourselves a good match. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you after the match. Kachina, I'll see you on the Never know, Kachina so might just win. I've been training so long for this. And Moalani's helped so much. I'm going to show her that it didn't go to waste. Thanks for believing in me. I'll try believing in myself this time too. Alright. Finish the duel with Molani. Holy shit. This is Cheerleaders, a... one and two are here for you, no matter what! But we're still playing as her, you know. Wow. So it's a 1v1 with Molani. Oh, Katsi. Yo. Let's <laughs> see. We've arrived at the final phase. The winner of this match will take the final spot among the victors. Give it up for a long time contender. And first time finalist for the children first of the Goals! First time finalist, Kachina! Yo! And her opponent from the people of the Springs, oh, no. my young prodigy and Night Warden Wars veteran, Mualani! This face-off between old friends promises to be an explosive showdown. May the best warrior win! You've come so far. Still nervous? Oh, why does it have to be you? Still, I'm glad in a way. Even if I lose, I won't have any regrets. Come on! Kachina, this is no time to be modest. I know you want this more than me. And it's about time you start sounding like it, okay? Oh. Uh, I wanna win! Her. Come on. Uh, well, let's see. This or are we, mine. Or are we actually fine? Okay, let's see. Let's go. Yo. Yo, oh, this is so awesome. Kachina vs. Molani. Come on, Kachina, don't let her just chase you. Oh, so her ultimate is first. Ah! 
Oh. What is this? <laughs> Holy shit! You're a single man. Oh. Is she what? She's not one. of this pilgrimage have been decided. Put your hands together for our victors as we welcome them to the stage. With her well, sixth we consecutive with win, Cheska of the Flower Feather Clan. So Cheska is one. She managed to Yen turn San. the tides all by herself. Ian-san of the Collective of Plenty. With an explosive comeback ten years Kalu, in the making, Kailani of the People of the Springs. And that's an NPC. <laughs> A seasoned and renowned that's warrior. That's another NPC. Kibungu of the Scions Kibungu. of the Canopy. And Kachina. Last but not least, finally living up to her true potential, Kachina of the Children of Echoes. We are literally every single tribe. Well, one of each tribe, I guess. Woo! Over here, Kachina! I, I made it. Feels like a dream. This is no dream. Your strength is what got you here. We'll be going to war together. It's an honor to fight alongside you, Kachina. Yo. <laughs> no matter how many pilgrimages I witness. I'm always overwhelmed with pride in this moment. Pride for you, my brave warriors. You give me faith that our innumerable sacrifices are not in vain. That the future of Natland shall burn with the brilliance of a blazing fire. Brave warriors, the following is an order and also a personal request. Go forth and crush the abyss. Seize victory and glory for Natland! So now Kachina's gonna go war to with the abyss. So this is gonna be interesting. As, As you command. command. Uh, As you command. So that's... Traveler, Paimon! There you are! I wanted to thank you for supporting Kachina back there. She really has grown into a formidable competitor. She deserved that win. Not that it feels good to lose, but I'm happy for her. <laughs> oh, it's definitely See, bittersweet, got, though. Got <laughs> hey, wanna go for a walk? Kachina and the others will be busy fighting the Abyss, so why don't I show you around Natland for a while? Sure! What do you say, Traveler? Do you have a choice? Uh, something on your mind? What about Kachina? Listen, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. But she's got experienced, powerful companions to take the lead. I'm sure they'll be fine. Glory always comes with a risk. If victory was assured, no one would take pride in it. She's not one to fall so easily. She bears the ancient name Uthabiti, after all. You just need to hold the fort while they're gone. <coughs> Come to think of it, you've never visited my tribe, have you? Come on, I'll take you. The people of the springs live alongside the Kaholasaurus. Our tribe is an ideal spot for some R&R. &R. <laughs> right. I'll take you to all the best spots. You'll love it. Looks like you beat me to it. Oh, Kinich. Kinich? I was planning on inviting you to visit <laughs> the Scions of the Canopy. Most of the adventures well, we'll that belong to, to the guild come one from my one. tribe, I so I figured you might be interested. 
Hey, first come, first served. You snooze, you lose, Kanich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were first. Still, Traveler, Paimon, feel free to stop by if you ever have time. You're always welcome. Yeah, thanks for inviting us. All right, let's pack up and head out. Oh, we're going straight there? All right. <laughs> Point. Reputation in Netherlands tribes are long. Home of the Mustangs. Wait, are we still in that one? Yeah, we are. How much more is that one? Holy shit. So Pacino won. What are your plans, Kanich? I've got to deliver some ceremonial artifacts back to my tribe. But then it is. I didn't place too well in this pilgrimage, so now that it's over. It's time to get home and get back to work. You didn't get enough points? Yeah. I got injured during the team round and wound up losing two key matches during individual competition. <coughs> Both against opponents I'd faced many times in the past. We've each had our fair share of wins and losses. It happened. <laughs> That's what you get for locking me away earlier. <laughs> get used to the taste of karma. Uh, may those injuries be the first of many. <sighs> Uh, hey! Uh, what are you doing? Uh. Up again? <laughs> so wait, where are we supposed to go in here? Oh my! Oh, that's a long way. We have to open more of the map. Damn it! I said this was gonna be three hours. It's already two and a half. But I feel like this is gonna be even more. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's speed up. By the way. Tribal Chronicles, People of the Springs. We did talk to Catherine just now, but <laughs> okay. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? Is that a oh. Can I use you? Nice. Now we're supposed to go this way. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's this? Tribal Chronicles. Um. Oh, that's a long way. We have to go. Around here to go there. And uh, I kinda need to condense 
Let's see my resin. There is a way to do that. Let's just use the damn teapot. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is gonna be long. I I have a feeling this is gonna be a long one. I think can we pause for a while? Yeah, I I can stop this recording and edit again. I wanted to craft. Oh wait, I have three already. Okay, um I'm gonna stop this recording and then I'll continue again later. So that uh yeah. Or I can just uh give a pause. Yeah, I'll I'll pause this one. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll stop the recording for now. Got that. Okay, we're back. After some pulls. <laughs> Not sure if I upload the pulls first or this video first. Probably this video first. But, um, hold up. We have another person in our team. Say hello to Hey guys, how's it going? Molani. <laughs> Alright, we have Molani now. But not build her. Eh? Yeah, maybe before we start continuing the Archon Quest, let's build her up by playing not this. This. Test run. <laughs> So at least I can level up to 40. <coughs> okay, how does she work? Okay. 
Yeah, she's uh, so fun. <laughs> fun and also broken. <laughs> Alright. I guess her weapon would be the this one maybe? Is yeah, HP should be uh, set probably probably the new set but uh HP is she skilled with HP I think let's see yeah damage bonus based on max HP so probably yeah skill damage based on max HP so you probably should build her with HP I didn't check the test run just now but it is HP focusing Tenacity and Oshaka, I guess. Two piece, two piece, maybe. What else is HP here? Hydro damage. Odors. Maybe one full HP. <laughs> Nilo is taking it though. Um, we have this. Tenacity, I guess. Doesn't have to be a set for the last piece. Take any any flower will do. Yeah, this will do. No HP scaling. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> that should do it. <laughs> Weapon. So dashing doesn't consume the thing. Wait, are we gonna use the how do we use this? I mean we can just use her. <laughs> right. Oh, we can use the, the monster as well. So wait, where is the statue or whatever? She. Is too much of our energy. Let's ride. Can we use that? Oh, hold 
sorry. That increases the yeah. the statue <clears throat> so the waypoint is right there okay. I should have bought more. Okay, maybe I didn't buy it. <laughs> oh, my. Finally, <clears throat> the music. Ah, oh, we're finally here. So this is your home, Mulalani. Paimon can't wait to have a look around. It's literally a resort. <laughs> ah, see, what did I tell you? Dip in the hot springs after a battle is just the best. Fetch me a bottle of wine, would you, dear? Just one? Let's get another. It's still early in the day, isn't it? Want to go to Golden Dust later? <laughs> now this is a vacation. Absolutely amazing. Wow, it's so lively around here. Is there some kind of holiday going on? We try to treat every day like a holiday around here. <laughs> we believe every day is worth celebrating. Now, let me show you around. Hmm, where to start? Show Chiqui Cattle Records, Columbia Plaza. Oh, there's so many options, but I recommend starting with the real highlight around here the hot springs, of course. Natural hot springs have tons of health they benefits. Go for a nice long springs. soak, and you're guaranteed a good night's sleep. Uh, wait, you want us to bathe here? Oh, don't be shy. Come on, I'll take you to get changed. Mulani. Wait. Huh? Oh, Auntie Atea! <laughs> Please, I've told you that just Atea is fine. Do I look that old to you? <sighs> Were you taking these two to the hot springs? That's right. Oh, let me introduce you. 
This is the Traveler, and the small one next to him is Paimon. They only just arrived in Natland, so I'm taking just them around right. to experience <laughs> our customs. <clears throat> right here! Ah, uh, I'm Mualani's neighbor, Ateo. Oh, neighbor. By the way, Mualani, I heard you lost a Kachina during the pilgrimage. I see a Pyrovision Is that there. true? But she doesn't seem playable. <laughs> yeah, I was this close to winning. Oh, oh. Definitely not the result I wanted, but still not too surprising. Kachina's always been strong. Anyway, it's all in the past. I'm gonna take these two for a dip in the hot springs. Talk to you later. Oh, wait. You'll need swimsuits first. Hmm, I'm sure I can find you something lying around the shop. I'll go look. Wait, will there be a traveler skin swimsuit? <laughs> for the for the Lumi Hold ones? Hold it right there, oh, young lady. Well, well. Have you forgotten the rule about bathing in the hot springs? Oh. Rule? Oh wait, you mean there's a rule about bathing in the hot springs? That's right. Outlanders have to complete a trial at an artificial hot spring before they're allowed access a to the trial? natural. It's not nearly as scary as it sounds. Basically, natural hot springs have higher temperatures that not everyone can withstand. A few travelers have gotten scalded by the water in the past. So now we have an unwritten rule. All outlanders need to adapt to the lower temperature artificial springs first. But seriously, so Auntie Atea, do we have to be so strict? These two are formidable adventurers. I know they can handle it. <laughs> to say that, Famous sorry. last words. The hot springs are not to be underestimated. You can never be too careful. Besides, the environment's been unstable lately. Could be a sign that the abyss is about to attack. Oh, that sounds dangerous. You know, Paimon's really not all that formidable, careful so is careful is good. <laughs> exactly. There will be no excessive risk-taking on my watch. Mulani, take them to the artificial spring first. Okay, okay. That's more like it. And don't try anything funny. I'm heading to the artificial spring in a bit, and if I don't artificial. see you there, your days of copping free meals at my place are done. Relax, relax. Oh. By the way, Atea, oh, how scratch. have you been feeling lately? Much better. How else would I have the energy to keep an eye on all you rascals? Hey! You over there! How many times have I told you no roughhousing near the hot springs? <laughs> oh, shoot! That weird lady's back again! You. Uh, run! Uh, stop right there! Ugh, you need a stern talking to! She sure has a lot of energy. <laughs> She's a legend in our tribe. Everyone knows her. Back before I inherited my ancient name, she was one of Natland's most renowned warriors. Famous for her love of hot springs. In fact, she often threw parties at the hot springs. She referred to anyone who came to these parties as her hot spring buddies. The attendees were all respected warriors like Liliuo, Kaiulani, Vichama, oh, and the I Archon. She would take advantage of the hot springs too. It's just during battle, she was impaled in the abdomen by an abyssal monster. Ooh. The doctors managed to save her life, but they made it clear that <clears throat> she could never bathe in the hot springs again. She can never. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself Ooh. in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her Yikes. internal organs and the progression of her illness. Oh, no wonder she has so many scars. I had no idea she was so seriously injured. That's normal. She never talks about her injury. She's worked tirelessly over the years to dig up artificial springs so that more and more people can experience our tribe's natural wonders, even though she can't enjoy them Aww. herself. I really respect her for that. Anyway, let's head to the artificial springs. If Auntie Atea gets <laughs> there before us, we're going to be in some real hot water. <laughs> Imagine we jump into the hot springs right now, what will happen? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> oh, I see! That's a great idea! I like it! See, I told you the chief would agree! Well, let's get moving then. We can't let a word of this slip to anyone else. Are you all secretly something? Hey, Amina! Hikaru! <clears throat> Marukau! You three seem particularly cheerful today. What's the occasion? Oh, Mulani! <laughs> You're back! Um, who are these two? This is the Traveler and Paimon, two very important guests. I wanted to take them to the natural hot springs, but Auntie Atea caught us, so we had to come here first. Oh, what a coincidence! We 
we were just talking about her. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Really? How can you tell? Okay, so is this why really you the Arcan Quest? We well, you know, noticed that this... she's been visiting the hot springs in Lowland. Right? Yeah, specifically the hot springs in the cave to the north of our settlement. I'm sure you know the one. Apparently, she used to go there a lot before they became abandoned for some reason. She could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Yeah, so we got to thinking, what if we renovated the abandoned spring behind her back, then threw her a huge surprise party? Chief Amina thinks it's a great idea, too. So, you want in? Of course! How could you even think of pulling this off without me? I'm a little busy right now, though. I'll come find you once we're done at the hot springs. <laughs> of course! Take your time. You should focus on our guests for now. These artificial springs are pretty new, but the experience is just as good as the natural ones, if you ask me. We really worked hard on them, so I hope you enjoy, and you two. I know you want to focus on Atea's surprise, but don't forget your patrol duties in the meantime. The Abyss could attack at any moment, so we need to stay vigilant. You got it, Chief. We'll keep an eye out. You can count on us. All right, we're off then. See, see you at the abandoned thing. spring, Mulani. I'm also gonna head out. Have fun! Finally, it's hot spring time! Oh, I already arranged swimwear for you guys, by the way. Come on, I'll show so you the Will there be a traveler skin swimwear? I mean, people will more uh, enjoy the Lumine one, I guess. But let's see. It's right there. Change outfit. Why does it fit? As in, uh, <sighs> we're actually changing our fit. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> Yo! <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. So, what do you think? Can you feel the warmth relax every muscle in your body? Yeah, it's so nice. The steam is warm too. The first time I came to the hot springs, there was no calming effect whatsoever. I was such a little ball of energy, the moment my parents looked away, I ran off to the high temperature pools. <laughs> it was actually pretty funny looking back on it. They were absolutely frantic, looking for me all over, until finally, they saw my head slowly poke out from under the water. I was too young to remember the whole ordeal, but my parents told me all about it. A natural born oh, swimmer, my mother the... called me. Just like her, I taught myself how to dive underwater the first time I ever went swimming. So feel free to go for a swim. I'll be right here if you need rescuing. Okay, here goes nothing! Um, <clears throat> Auntie Atea! You really came to check on us? <laughs> of course. And I'm glad you listened. I brought you all some milk and snacks as well. I'll just leave them here. Traveler outfit and find one. <sighs> the temperature in the artificial springs isn't too high, so I went with Soros crackers and grain fruit chips. See how you like them. Oh, thank you! Um, mm, these are great! Well, I did make them myself. <sighs> Very few young people know how to truly appreciate hot springs, so listen carefully. The temperature of the hot spring not only determines the type of snacks you should choose, but also the amount of time you should spend in the water. To bathe in a hot spring is to completely empty your mind. As such, swimming around the pool is incredibly disruptive and impolite, and something you should absolutely not learn from Mulani. <laughs> hey! <sighs> Alright, looks like you were able to adapt to the temperature, no problem. You should be able to switch to the natural springs then. Well, I've got to get going. Oh, and make sure you drink your milk. I'm looking at you, Moalani. I still remember how you used to pour it into the water when you were little. That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. Uh, okay, okay. Paimon didn't think you were the type to do something like that. <laughs> I remember thinking I'd totally get away with it too. But turns out milk is pretty easy to spot when you pour it into clear water. Hmm. Milk is truly my best work. 
Okay. Some people get dizzy if they stay in here too long. You guys all right? I'm fine, okay. just a bit stuffed. <coughs> like you two are naturals. <laughs> oh, by the way, so no skin is just for I have to leave you on your own for, for a little scene, while this afternoon. I'm gonna help the others fix up that abandoned spring. You certainly don't abandoned? trust their aesthetic tastes. Who knows what will become of the place if I leave them unattended? In exchange, though, I can recommend a couple of shops that are worth a visit. Huh? Yeah, she brought us snacks and taught us about the hot springs. We want to do our part, too. Friends are supposed to help each other out. We'd feel bad otherwise. Well then, the more the merrier. All right, we should get going. Let's organize the best hot spring gathering that land's ever seen. <laughs> Just confirm. This is still the art complex, right? It is. Meet up with Marco and the others. Carving wave. I forgot we can dash. <laughs> God damn it. Mohani. Wait, you brought our guests too? We're here to help. But you're important guests. We can't put you to work. All right, all right. Stop trying to out polite each other, would you? The sooner we get this party started, the sooner we get to enjoy the real party. Now, where to start? Oh, hmm. this is a bad. Looks like the water outlet is blocked pretty bad. We'll need to dig under it. Ooh, those boxes in the corner need to be thrown out as well. <laughs> oh! They're moldy as all get out. Also, someone needs to go out and get some cloth, wood, and decorations. Oh, and snacks too. I say we get enough for 20 or 30 people. Bulk purchases fetch the best prices after all. Oh, but don't just accept the first offer they give you. Uh, I'm not good at haggling. Why don't you go? Hey, I'm not any better, and I wouldn't even know what to buy. Um, how about we handle things here while you three deal with the shopping? Yeah, that works too. God damn it. I can introduce you to all the shops while we're at it. All right, let's meet back here later. Right, okay. To digging them? Let's go. All right, they are doing the digging. Sure. Off we go. Let's ride. Okay, don't just all focus on the <coughs> Hey there, Yellow Path. Hope business has been going well. Well, if it isn't Mulani, back from the pilgrimage? That's right. Didn't make the cut this year, though. Well, it wouldn't be a competition if everyone got to win. So, what'll it be today? Here, it's all on the list. Quite a sizable order, as you can see. <laughs> so, uh, can we expect a discount? Wow, that is a large order. What's it all for? A party? That's right. Uh, keep this between us for now, but... We're throwing a hot spring party for Auntie Atea. Wait, you're saying she can go in the hot springs again? That's uh, great news! How about I don't this? Think you can have the decorations can, on the house, right? and I'll give you 20% off the cloth and wood. Come on, I know you can sweeten the deal. That pile of wood's been sitting there since I left for the pilgrimage. At this rate, you need to get rid of it or it's gonna go moldy. All right, all right. Such a handful. Just give me a moment while I pack all this up for you. Wow, that was amazing, Mulani! <laughs> Just to get this <laughs> All in a day's work. By the way, Yellowfath, are these two stones for sale? Interested? They won't come cheap. Uh. <laughs> I'm not planning to haggle this time, I promise. Package them separately, would you? Nope. Kachina likes shiny little trinkets, so whenever oh, I come across Kachina. something <laughs> like that, I always buy it for her. I'll hold on to them for now. It'll be a nice little surprise for her when she returns victorious from battle. I'm sure she'll like it. I have a bad feeling about uh, Katrina, just like what Travelers said. Oh, right. That should be everything. Before. If you could just double check, make sure nothing's missing. Let me see. Huh? What's this crate of juice doing here? That's on the house. Seven years ago, when the Abyss attacked our tribe, Atea saved my brother's life. She never asked for anything in return. But I could never forget what she did for my family that day. So, send her my regards, would you? And have fun! Oh, we will. It's gonna be a party to remember. Thanks a lot, Yellowfath. Well, that's our shopping done.
Let's head back. Oh, that was easy. And we don't need to walk all the way. It's teleported already. We're back. How's everything going? Wow, this place cleaned up nice. You got the water unblocked too. Huh, good work. I would hope so. We spent all day clearing out debris from the bottom of the spring. Did you guys get everything? Oh, we brought back tons of stuff. We set it down near the cave entrance. All right then, roll up your sleeves, everyone, and let's get back to work. Actually, why don't you two take a break? I'll handle it from here. Traveler, mind lending me a hand? So, I was brainstorming on the way over, and I'm thinking we could draw something on the wall over here, and the snacks and drinks can go over there. Okay. <laughs> and it's done. Wow. <laughs> so, what do you think? Not bad, right? It looks amazing! I had no idea you were such a great designer! Well, I'm usually the one in charge of the family store, so... I'm pretty good at things like renovation and organization. Not to mention, this was totally a group effort. Yep. Still, I didn't expect it to take quite this long. Aww. Guess it's too late to invite Auntie Atea over, huh? Yeah, uh, tonight's definitely not gonna work. So the chief Amina set up those patrols to guard against the Abyss, and Atea volunteered. So she's on watch tonight. Aww. I see. Well, guess the surprise will have to wait until tomorrow. Will it, will it be that simple? I don't think it's that simple. Hmm. Something's this gonna could happen. actually be a good thing. It's gonna be cheap. She can relieve all the exhaustion of keeping watch all night by soaking in the hot spring. Ha! She's gonna love it. Well, let's call it a day then. Traveler, I'm on. You must be tired too. Come on, I'll take you to the inn. Return to the inn. Bonita. I want to try, like, you don't want to go beyond the meter, or else the floor is down. Dashing also is Need a surfboard? Oh, that's a good one. You can just go in here, right? Let's ride! No, this is fun. <laughs> and I'm not even dashing yet. This is the inn. All right, this is it. Get a good night's sleep, Reminds okay? Reminds me of Sumeru. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Good night. Ah, my one's exhausted. Yep. We really went all over the place today, didn't we? Anyway, we need to be well rested for the party tomorrow, so let's head inside. So to the next day then. Or are we going to see what happened on Kachina's side? Oh shit! It is! Are we fighting against the Abyss? Is Kachina fighting against the Abyss? Uh, why now? Uh oh. Uh, what's with all the noise? Wait, that's not the Abyss. That's happening right now in the same location Traveler! Paimon! Wake up! Don't tell me the abyss is attacking this area Moolani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? Oh shit It's the abyss! Our patrols are trying to drive them back as we speak Oh boy, alright Come with me, I'll take you somewhere safe uh, Moolani! A little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment. I'll be right there. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hang in there. Is it We're really? here to help. Oh, it's thunderstorm. All right, let's go. Moolani trial. Yep. Ten, ten, ten. Yep. Triple crown. Let's go. I forgot this is. There's no lock. Off we go. Watch. Let's <laughs> 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 
に対処Monsters over here. Thanks for your help. It would have taken me ages on my own. Looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have no idea where these creatures are coming from. Let's go ask Amina. She'll have a better handle on the situation. Well, <laughs> so much for the party. <laughs> Wait, this is still Trum. Yeah, this is still Trum. So we can still use her even though if we don't have her. <laughs> Amina! Oh, it's you three. Thank you for helping clear out those monsters. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where did they come from this time? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon, but we don't have enough manpower to take it down. An abyssal pylon? What's that? A kind of gauge created by the Abyss. Okay. One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. Oh. Monsters from the Night Kingdom. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Exactly. That's what I'm most concerned about. Their numbers suggest there might even be multiple pylons in the area. We're searching for them as we speak. Alright, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon, can I count on your help again? Of course! Sure. We can't just sit back and do nothing! On behalf of the people of the Springs, you have my thanks. We're counting on you. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Take care, Amina. We still have her trial, so I'm kind of glad uh, we know how to use her. Need a surfboard? Carving way! Wait, we can't teleport. Yeah, we can't even open the map. Attacking with elemental attacks is a certain number of times. Oh! 
No. Ah, uh, this is monsters. I think there's only one, right? Whew. That should do it, right? Oh, there might be more. I don't see any more monsters, so... Looks like we're in the clear. These attacks happen a lot? Must be hard on your tribe. Yeah, it makes things hard sometimes, <coughs> but... That's how our ancestors have always lived. Besides, the Abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are. Fighting back right, is the, the only option. Uh, focusing more on this side, on that lane. Compared to Come the other nations. Back. What are you looking at? Is there something uh, over there? There they are, so many. You're right! Moolani, look! They're coming from that direction! Wait, that area looks kind of familiar! Oh, shit. What? How unlucky can we get? We just finished the renovations. We probably don't have any reinforcements over there, there, so it's up to us. Let's move! Huh? Seems like the monsters are decreasing in number. Everyone, keep it up! Off we go! Just to make this easier. Are they coming because of Atea? Because she has... Atea! What are you doing here? Where's the pylon? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm here, means that thing is long gone. I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. You should check if all the important stuff is still here. Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. Is this the right area? Hello? Ooh. Anyone there? Mulani and Atea. What's going on? We were told the second pylon was over here. Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Wait, oh, someone she took get a care doctor. Pylon, uh, okay. Yeah, all right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? Uh, the main thing is they didn't protected. destroy anything. This is a beautiful hot spring, by the way. I can <clears throat> tell how much work you put into it. Wait, no. This was meant to be a surprise. Does she know? <laughs> For me, right? I know. Mm. I tell ya! <laughs> you think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. <laughs> it couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. <laughs> and you, Mulalani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you, you have to choose them based on the temperature of the water? Oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together and I'll help you make whatever you want, okay? Remember, every time you say to hold see, on. most likely... <sighs> Maybe that's why the corrosion is so fast this time? Oh no. Traveler, can you do something? The Imperials <gasps> and the elemental energy Wait. we embody repel each other. Can Traveler purify the abyss? The what? abyssal power? The crystal has been purified? Oh my gosh. We, this was not brought up since Monster. The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. 
I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Yes, Trevor, come on. Matea! Matea! Wait, what do you mean? Purification? The abyssal power, it's being cleansed away. How can that be? I never knew that was even possible. We finally get to see Traveler purifying another one, another abyssal power. <coughs> After how many years? Atea! <sighs> The mark of the abyss. It's gone. Yes, Yo. thanks to the traveler. By the way, traveler, are you alright? I just saw you purify abyssal power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? You're sure? <laughs> good. Good. Oh, thank goodness. You scared us all half to death just now. everyone head back and get some rest we'll meet here tomorrow we'll celebrate Atea's recovery and our Yo. triumph over the abyss <laughs> okay and most importantly no, no, we'll there. show the traveler and paimon how grateful we are for their aid let's make it an occasion to remember dismissed got, it. got any other secret powers i should know about <laughs> Oh, but seriously, you really came through for us tonight, so thank you. Thank goodness. Hermon almost forgot you had that ability. Yeah. You used it back in Mondstadt to cleanse Devalin's tears, didn't you? That was a long time ago. That was some quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You look like something's bothering you. What's wrong? Send something? Remnants of that power have existed for years. Uh. Oh no. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. She could never come into contact with hot water before and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Wait. No. Oh, shit. Hello? Traveler? Maybe you can zone out some other time because Paimon can barely keep her eyes open. Let's head back for now. Oh, no. <laughs> Are we really gonna keep that? Quiet and then suddenly she will still. Oh no! And it's, it's a hot spring party. Oh no! <laughs> With this happy music. Oh no! Will everything be okay? Yo, this art conquest is longer than I thought, but I'm immersed, so immersed with this. Wait, where are we going? This is here. Oh no. I'm a little worried now. Will she be fine? <laughs> 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 
Not interested in hanging out oh, with the other kids? Oh, herself. Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. You sensed it, didn't you? So... She knows we sensed it. I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. But looks like it was no use. Hey, kid! Cut, Danny. Who? Me? Yes, you. Oh, come on. I was expecting you somewhere. Let's go key. for a walk. Hey, uh, where are you going? Did something happen? Just going to get some air. It's too noisy in here. You have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and there are extra snacks in that box over there if they need replenishing. Bake them all fresh this morning. All right. Sounds great. Mulani. Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot springs. <laughs> Like all that time passed in the blink of an eye. Tell me, how are your parents? They're away on business. Seriously, Ateo, what's going on? You're acting strange. Traveler, did something happen? Both of you seem a little off today. I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless or too anxious to wait for reinforcements. I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless. It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Oh. Your friends saved my life in that cave. And because of that, I got to enjoy the celebration with you all. But I'm just a few days shy of the end. The hot springs. I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh. Mulalani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. Oh, That's what gosh. you said back at the artificial spring. I... I had a bad feeling then, but I didn't want it to be true. That's what she meant. I... wanted to believe you were actually recovering. You want to know something? Recovery, death, to me, the two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. <sighs> I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines. Especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the Abyss, even at the end of my life. But because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there... It made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe for our nation's future. You have the capacity to bring us all together. Even if I was never injured, old age would still take me one day. <sighs> but I've done what I needed to do. The future is in your hands now. Just remember, whether in life or death, oh. I am always with you. I understand. Seems like you've given this a lot of thought, Atea. Thank you for telling me all this. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. Oh, and if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. Wait, that's It the... may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just thing? think of it what as a relic it I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too well, sick to thing. fight, I never took it off. Just tell her it embodies fond memories and my strength of will. 
She'll know what I'm trying to say. Don't worry. We'll make sure she gets it. Mm. All right. That's all I wanted to say. Let's head back to the party. No use spending what little time I have left being sad. Wow. Taiwan is still there. Traveler, Akea, Mualani! If you don't hurry up, there won't be any snacks left! Excuse me, what did I say about bathing in the hot springs on a full stomach? Uh, hey, are you listening to me? Oh yeah, she Life has to go is a journey for... in which there's no turning back. Uh, so forge ahead and don't hold back. Wow, there's the end of that one. <laughs> to be honest, that felt like an art conquest plus a Molani story, but that, that is not even the Molani story. Atea's talisman. That was long. That was four hours. Kind of four hours. But okay. Alright. So that's Act 1. We finished Act 1. <coughs> we still can't claim this, right? We need to finish Act 2 as well. I still haven't met uh, the Archon yet. <laughs> okay guys, so I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time on Act 2.